Those far-reaching missions return to Earth. A Navy crew from right here in San Diego will be there to welcome them back. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell joining us live from Naval Base San Diego, where the Navy did a test run practicing this important role it will play in these future missions. What an exciting collaboration, Marie. It really is, Virginia. So the crew we're talking about uh, is the crew aboard the USS John Murtha, which is the ship you see behind me. I'm going to direct your attention now to that mock capsule you see right there. That's what they recovered, which they say was no easy task. Artemis 1 has reached splashdown. In the dark, crews aboard the USS John Murtha simulated what it would be like to recover the Orion capsule and what's described as a complex process that involves a lot of preparation and the right type of ship and equipment. We flood the back of the well deck, or the ship does rather. Uh, it's kind of like a giant swimming pool where they drop the stern gate and we flood and we tow the capsule in using a winch and we set it down in the yellow cradle behind me. The small capsule weighs in at 18,000 pounds. NASA recovery officials say the real one will be at least 22,000 pounds. Commanding officer of the USS John Murtha, Jervia Lotta, says the two-day recovery simulation was a great experience for his crew as they were able to be part of history. You know, we've been worked really hard in the Navy. We do a lot of missions, but for the crew to have this opportunity to do something special with NASA and for the country has been a true blessing for them. So again, NASA officials say the USS Murtha has been tasked to participate in the recovery efforts next year, as long as it works out in terms of their mission and schedule. Live from Naval Station San Diego, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News. Very interesting stuff. Thank you so much, Marie.